All right, so let's look at power chain. Same concept. So let's just say, and again, these are hypothetical. This isn't a real case that we treated. I'm, I'm just giving you an example of what this could be. So let's say that you treated a case and at stage 19, it was set up like this, but you look in the mouth and there's a space. Now I realize that realistically, that's probably not where that space would be, but let's just say you had a space somewhere. The patient was getting food trapped. Rather than scanning for refinement and trying to close that space and undoing all of the forces that you already have applied to the teeth that are doing good, what you're going to do is you're going to add a keyframe here Again, you can see that there's a space in their teeth in the mouth, but not in your design. So you're gonna go ahead and move these teeth mesially, creating a collision essentially to close the space, basically fake IPR. And I realize that it looks like all those teeth are moving mesially, but again, the teeth did not watch this video. So they don't know what's supposed to happen according to the video. All they know is that there's a force being placed on them. The arch length is decreasing, just as if we were to put a power chain between those teeth and that space is going to close up. We're going to order those aligners. The patient's gonna wear those aligners and we're gonna see them back when they're on the last aligner to evaluate again for an additional chair side refinement. So open coil spring and power chain, uh, very powerful concepts when you're setting up your cases for chair side refinements.